Good morning everyone, it's your girl Cassandra Olivia back with another video. And today we're gonna be pressing out my blue hair client, Shakira. We actually did her hair about a month ago, probably a little bit more than that. And I just wanted to show you guys how she came in. This is still straight from the last time we pressed it. She basically has not done anything to it. So I'm just gonna go in and show you guys how I'm gonna press her hair, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update to show you that her color is still in there and it's looking really good. So I'm just going in with the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. I've been really loving this product lately. I like to switch out my oils and like shampoos and conditioners every now and again. And I'm um, kind of circle back to my old faithfuls and switch a couple things out. So yeah, I just put a little bit of Super Skinny in her hair and I'm just going in with my Paul Mitchell Paddle Brush and I'm gonna detangle her hair. This is sped up just a tiny bit because I didn't want the video to be super long. Y'all know how I feel about super long videos. But I did wanna show you guys a little bit more in depth of how I detangle, how I blow dry, how I brush, everything. So now I'm just going in with a wide tooth comb and I'm also using my fingers to finger detangle, finger detangle her hair, if I could talk. <laughs> and I'm just going in and sectioning her hair off. And then once I section each, each individual section, I'm gonna go in with my, with my paddle brush and I'm going to detangle the hair and then I'm gonna go in with my Speed Freak blow dryer and just blow dry the hair. But you wanna make sure every section is thoroughly detangled before you go in with the blow dryer as to not create any knots. So yeah, now that I was struggling through that, <laughs> we are going to get through this. It is Friday, I'm off. I have my niece and all three of my kids. So I have four kids in the house today. It's a little crazy, but my niece is sleeping, my daughter, my youngest is sleeping, my older two are upstairs playing their games. And I figured this is the perfect time to do this voiceover because if I don't do it now, I will probably not get it done at all. So as you can see, her blue is still in there. She still has a little hint of like teal, which I love. But yeah, this, this Pravana blue is everything, guys. I'll link the video down below of me coloring her hair because we actually took her hair, hair from like a dark brown and red coppery color to this blue. So if you wanna see that, I'll link it down below also. But yeah, I'm gonna finish blow drying and we'll be back for the next part. For all the newcomers, if you wanna see how I blow dry, I will link another video of that down below also, along with all of the products that I use. But as you guys know, um, I like to go in with the round brush after I'm done blow drying with the paddle brush, just to make sure that the roots are super straight because the straighter it is before you press it, the less times you have to go over it with the flat iron. So a lot of people make mistakes and get heat damage because they don't get the hair straight in the blow dry. And then when they try to press it, you have to go like three, four passes to try to get it straight. And that's just, that's just doing too much, so yeah. I normally do like two passes, no more than that, unless it's like super crinkly or I missed a spot. But yeah, generally one to two passes is all you need. So I'm just going in and I did use my um, S3 spray by Influence. Now you do have to be licensed to get that spray, which is why I didn't link it down below, but I'll link the website, which is Influence Hair Care One. And if you are a licensed cosmetologist, and I believe if you're in cosmetology school, you can sign up for an account and then you can have the item shipped to you. But they're based out of Philadelphia. And I don't order my products online. I normally just have a distributor who comes to my salon to bring them. But yeah, I love the Influence products. I use like the moisturizing line, the shampoo conditioner. I like to use their Rosemary um, line. Their shampoo conditioner is really good for somebody that has like dry, itchy scalp or needs help with hair growth. And I also like to put the Rosemary in after sew-ins. So that's just a little background of what I use shampoo conditioner wise. Um, just a few of the shampoo and conditioners because I use a lot, but it, it's based off of the client because not every client is the same. So I'm just showing you guys how I'm pressing this out and then I'm gonna go in after I'm done pressing her and just um, bump her hair just a tiny bit. Um, so after I did this, she did ask for me to wrap her hair. So I'm gonna go in with some saran wrap and just wrap her hair and stick her under the dryer for about five minutes on warm to cool. You don't wanna put them under high or on perm because if they sweat, it's gonna undo all of your hard work. So I'm gonna just curl her, add a couple feathers. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like before I even wrap it. But yeah, we're gonna stick her under the dryer to give her like a more, um, she wants like a more sleek look and a silk wrap just seals in the oils to make sure that the hair lasts just a little bit longer, at least smoother. So yeah, but the curls, they was popping. Y'all know if I would've judged this with the comb, it would've came out bomb. But yeah, just showing you guys around. She could've worn it like this, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap her. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. 
So I just like to take a break comb or a paddle brush, like the same one that I used to blow dry, and I like to swirl the client's hair around. I like to start where the part is. So for instance, her part is on the left side of her head. I'm just gonna go in where the part is, start from that part, and start working my, right, my way around, going clockwise in a circle. So I'm just making sure everything is nice and smooth. You wanna make sure there's no crinkles, no bumps or tangles in her wrap, because if it's wrapped like that, when you comb it out, it's gonna look like that. So you wanna make sure it's smooth. And I'm just measuring her with the saran wrap, and I'm gonna use my chair, and I like to use my knee and kind of push my chair around. Now, um, I did run out of saran wrap here, which is why I'm not, um, I had to run over and grab some more, but I was out of saran wrap here. I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit more, and I'm gonna show you guys how I normally wrap it around. Okay, so now she's all done, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna remove this wrap. And I'm just gonna use that same rat tail comb, and I'm just gonna use that to start pulling it apart. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. Okay, so now I'm just combing it all down in the direction that we curled it in the way that I want it to fall. So remember, her part was on the left-hand side, so I'm just putting her part back in there, making sure everything is nice and clean. And then I'm just gonna comb this until it forms and does what I want it to do. So don't feel like you have to rush through this part or just comb it one time and it's done. Sometimes I'll rake through this like 10 times, a million times, it just, <laughs> you just do it until it lays right. There's no way to explain how to do this. So I'm sorry if I'm terrible at explaining, but I'm just a very visual person. And yeah, you guys can pretty much see what I'm doing. If you have any questions, please just ask. Maybe I can answer it better there. But yeah, I'm just in here doing my thing in my element. And I loved how it was falling here, but um, just put it a little bit more on her face. And now I'm just gonna go in with the edge control last. And her and I had such a bomb time today. Like 2020 is gonna be a lit year. I hope everybody's having a wonderful 2020. Um, things are crazy, but I just hope that, you know, things get better. And yeah, we about to get into February, like ain't nothing happened. So thank you guys so much for following my channel and watching and subscribing and showing me love. As always, don't forget to hit that like, comment and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Everybody have a wonderful Friday and have a lit weekend. Bye.